Hey everybody, hope you're all doing all right out there. So every year I make a video like this uh, to highlight some of the things you need to keep in mind, especially if you're a new rider coming up to the autumn. Uh, and this year is particularly important because it's nearly October and I could walk around in shorts and t-shirt today. It's been what they know as an Indian summer where you get a, a decent temperatures way into September. I don't remember them being quite this warm right up until October. But that is about to change. If you look at the skies, there is some greyness going up there and uh, we've got a storm coming in across the Atlantic and that's going to switch the weather. And I imagine, unless that keeps the jet stream up on high for a long while, it won't be long before we're going to get a sudden switch and we're going to get the sort of temperatures and weather that we should be getting immediately. And that will catch people out. So this is a video for new riders or even old riders that just need to remember We've been getting used to decent, decent amounts of grip. We've got used to nice dry roads full of highway maintenance vehicles doing literally four miles an hour. The things you obviously need to be aware of that catch people out in the autumn is things like when the leaves start falling off the trees and they start getting munched into the road. You know, you've got rain, it's wet, but then you get dry days. And then first thing in the morning, you know, you'll see it's relatively dry here and then you'll go flying into a corner and underneath the tree, it's soaking wet there's mulched up leaves and people come off. This also means you need to think about, you know, gripping corners because you could be leaning right into a corner and then find a big patch of that stuff halfway through it. Also, when they're getting dark, you need to watch out for the fact that a lot of car drivers don't start putting their lights on until it's properly dark. I don't, I've never really understood that one and I don't know why it's so prolific in silver cars, but yeah, as, as it gets uh, darker earlier, it seems like it takes a long time before drivers want to react to put the headlights on. Maybe they think the headlights are going to burn out quicker or something, I don't know. <laughs> but what I do is this. In the summertime, you know, I enjoy the dry roads and I ride for the conditions. As it comes to the winter, I have a different approach. I'm not riding for fun, I'm not riding to push, you know, sort of just having funny corners and can I go a bit quicker in that corner or something like that. It becomes A to B. Still have fun, but it becomes much more about I just want to get to this place because that change in attitude will mean that you won't push as hard and uh, that should hopefully if you keep things in mind like you know leaves and oil and wetness and all that sort of stuff that exists on the road during the autumn you should be in a much better place with less likelihood of coming off now the sad thing is i guarantee you i'm going to have comments on this video saying i wish i'd seen this sooner because i know of the delay and i know the weather's coming and someone's going to say i came off on some mud or some or you know leaves or something last week it happens every time. Of course, this is also the time that a lot of people have their last ride, put the bike away for the winter. That one last ride, don't overthink it. Don't like, you know, try and, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna make this one hell of a ride, just have fun. Don't, you know what it's like, it's always the last run. It's always the last ride. Unfortunately, that's just too true, that one. So many people have come on a stoke like that. I have to say that this uh, send it, solar limited van has been riding the ass of this white car all the way through the 30 and now into this 40. Just gonna send it in the back of your car. Another thing I always get asked in these videos, I'm just gonna address it now, is Spicy, can you recommend some good winter gear to be using? No, I can't because I use the same gear I use in the uh, summer in the winter because I'm an idiot. I really could do a getting like a Gore-Tex suit or a, a, a new waterproof coverall or something but I just never do it I really should and I did actually contact a couple of companies see if they'd be interested in working with me but unfortunately that hasn't happened and as uh, funds are well I'm a youtuber um, that's not gonna happen anytime soon unless any companies want to get involved I've still haven't quite understood this one I'm not really interested in doing sponsored ads or anything like that but I'm absolutely up for promoting people who make good gear and I have actually contacted Frank Thomas who most of my gear is made by several times now and said hey should we work together because people always ask me what my gear is i think it's really good but it's always old because i buy it at a discount uh, so no one can actually buy what i have and they have never responded to my email once not even a no so as i have no experience with good waterproof winter gear i cannot give you a suggestion no <laughs> do what i do get cold wet <laughs> But it is part of the experience, you know. If you don't get cold and wet in the winter, you don't get to really enjoy that summer. You know, when the... the oh, can't believe the summer's almost over already. Sucks. 
but it was a nice one. And I did, you know, in the middle of the, the summer, I always try to remember, like, in winter it's going to be shitty, this is really nice, just to appreciate it that much more. I've made videos on this in the past, so I'm not going to go off into every single little detail, but that's the main thing, you know, just basically hold back a bit, be aware it's going to be wet, it's going to be muddy in corners, you're not going to necessarily see it, the morning is going to catch you out. Someone's now going to go, you should have stopped for the amber, like I've got, you know, brick wall breaks. So yeah, basically, just take it easy. Like the video if you like the video. You've got tons of space, you've got so much space, you've got all the space in the world, you have got feet. What is wrong with you? Sorry. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and if you want to support the channel, please consider doing that through Patreon. And maybe I too will have some waterproof gear for the winter. <laughs> that would be quite cool, actually. Imagine being warm and dry in the winter. I've, I've never experienced it. Why do I get the feeling you're not going to notice the filter light? You watch. So predictable, so predictable.